What's up boys, that's 1KDK back with another video. Today we're going to be doing the Velocity Sack Stage 2 IET Relocation Kit and the Flapper Delete. So, thank you by the way, uh, Bren Toon for hooking this up for me, BT Moto, I guess for sponsoring this video. We are going to be doing it on the 2023 BMW S1000 RR. Very beautiful, I already have the Stage 1 kit on it, but the reason why I'm making this video is to kind of show you guys like, you can do it yourself. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that we're gonna do is remove the, these three bolts right here. One, two, and three. So now that you have that off, you have to take this seat and it's this one screw right in the middle here. So you're gonna need like an extension, kind of like what I have here. And these are all 25 torque screw, uh, bits. There's gonna be one bolt right here and then one bolt right here on both sides here. And you're gonna take these both off. And these are all torque 25 bits as of right now. You see that smoke coming up from there? Choo, choo. <laughs> so we're gonna push this tab down right here. This one just comes right out. We're gonna push this tab down and then pull towards you. So it's pretty easy. You just push down and then pull. Now for this, since both of these tabs are out, you just push this forward, see how it's moving? And then it just comes right out. So now since you have these both off on both sides, grab a 13 uh, millimeter wrench and take this bolt off, this bolt off, and then this bolt off. So now right here on this side and on both sides actually, there is a vacuum hose. So you're just gonna have to pull these out. It's a little bit hard, but you'll be able to get it. Don't worry guys, I got a flashlight. <laughs> so this one, you just pull in this tab. And that little bit of gas, that's completely fine. Just wipe it up when you're done. And then these, a little uh, flathead screwdriver will be perfect for these to lift up this little tab and then you pull both of them. Both of them out and now the gas sink is completely free. So we're gonna have to get all of this stuff away. So we are gonna have to remove this bolt right here. Sorry if it's a little bit low lighting. We're gonna have to remove that bolt, it's a T25. Be careful because this bolt has a washer. So just remember that when you take it out. So we are gonna be disconnecting this and this. So we're just gonna disconnect these quick and then we'll have free mobility of the ECU. So this clip, it's actually pretty hard. It comes out fully. And then there's two tabs on the side here and there. And then we're just gonna get this out of the way. There's also this little thing to clip on right there. It's gonna get this whole wire out of the way so that we have full mobility of the bike as well. And then there is a zip tie right here that we're gonna have to undo so that we can move this in the future. So that's gonna be a little bit later. And then this clip right here, remember to take this off. All right, so now since we got these off, I had to cut the zip tie right here. You have to cut the zip tie, otherwise this wire will be held on by this. But we are gonna be removing these bolts. So there's one, two, three, right on the other side, four, and five, and six, right down here. And these are all T20 screws. So now since we have all those bolts out of the way, we are gonna be disconnecting all of these. These are for the fuel injectors. Uh, there's this, these little metal clips on the bottom here. There's these little metal clips on the bottom there that kind of just pop right off, just like that. So do that for all of them and then they just pull right out. And then once that is done, there is gonna be a zip tie right down here that you're gonna have to cut off so that this is free from this plastic piece right here so that it can fold over. Right underneath here, there is another little clip or whatever you call it. That is just a really easy clip. You just push down and then you pull and it comes right out. There's gonna be this clip as well that we're gonna have to take off. Right in here, this is the IET uh, sensor. So we're gonna have to take this out as well so we can pull this right here. And we're gonna be removing that in the future after we get to the velocity stacks, which is in the air box. That's why we're taking all of this apart. So now since we have all the ECU and all the cords off, we have to get right in here to the fuel injectors. This is a fuel injector line. Uh, there's four of these right here and there is I think only one screw, yep, there's only one screw for each. 
It's also going to be really smart to get uh, Ziploc bags and then ECU holder gas tank. So for all the bolts that you don't lose track. Otherwise, another good hint to have is to like record it so that you remember where all the bolts go. So just a little tip for you guys. Since we have full access to this now, once you get all these bolts out, you just pull it out. I know it might seem like it's a little bit forceful, but you just pull these out the injectors and move them off to the side. Next, we're gonna get at this bolt right here. So you're gonna have to disconnect this quick. And then this is a T30, this is a T40, and then it's on the same side over here and over here. So T30 and T40, we're gonna have to take these out. This one has a washer on it, just be wary of that. Fucking give her the beans, bud. So right here, since we got all those bolts out now, now this thing just pops right out. Just remember the orientation there on both sides of the motorcycle. So just remember like the little nipple goes in towards the bike. So you're gonna have to pull this off so that you have full access to the airbox. And now the airbox should be free. You can kind of move it around a little bit. It's ready to come out. We're gonna have to take this off. Right down here, there's a little breather hose for the airbox so that all the air goes right here. This little clip right here, we're gonna have to take that out with the pliers. So you take it off with this little clip right here, then you pinch these two sides. So with this connection right here, it's such a pain in the ass. Don't uh, don't feel bad if you can't get it right away. It probably took us around 10 minutes. You're gonna need one of these as a pliers and you're gonna have to pinch the, these parts together and it should come out. Just pinch them really, really, really hard and it'll come out. After all of this, just make sure that you don't have any like this is off. Make sure you don't have any wires coming up here. And then you should be able to take off the air box which as you can see, mine comes off. I'm just gonna have to take this hose off right here. All off, there's gonna be a little bit of oil if you've ever dropped your bike, which I have two times, but there's gonna be a little bit of oil that comes off, which is completely normal, just kind of wipe it up. And then just make sure that this hose doesn't get lost from there. You're gonna have to disconnect that hose and the airbox will come right up. Do not put your fingers in these and open it up because then you're gonna have to reprogram the bike to make it like go back to zero for the throttle. Do not open these up. Okay, this is your throttle bodies. We have the airbox off now. So now since you have the airbox off, you can take out this, the air filter, if you got a new air filter, like the high sprint air filter. I opted out for that because I live in Wisconsin and it's really dusty and kind of shitty here all the time with a bunch of gravel. But in order to do that, you put in these two tabs here and you kind of just lift up and then you just take this right off. And then that, if you're doing the velocity sacks, that gives you full access to the velocity sacks in here. So that is what we're gonna be changing today. And then there's gonna be a little bit of oil in there too. That's normal if you've dropped your bike, like I said. I'm just gonna wipe this all up and then we should be good. So now in order to take these out, the stock ones, you just kind of push and you kind of bend it. And you take these out. So all four of these, take these out and then we're gonna be changing them out with the velocity sacks. Now you can throw these away, keep them. I don't care what you do with them, but you're not gonna be using them. On these new velocity sacks, they look beautiful. They're all blue and pretty and they're billet, I'm pretty sure, maybe aluminum. Uh, these are rubber. So for these, you just take off this ring and it's really easy with the flathead screwdriver. There's a little lip, kind of go like that and you take them off all for one. And as you can see, they're all the exact same thing. So do not worry about like which one goes where. You pop it in. I'm gonna pop it into the first one. Sits in nice. And then you just put this right back around it and you're gonna be doing that for all four of them. Now for these rings, you kind of start it off on one side and you just kind of work your way all the way around. It's kind of hard. And sometimes it doesn't like working with you just like that, but you will get it. All right, so in this right here, the injector for the air box, right on top of here, there's two bolts. Now we are going into the intake flapper delete kit. So the flapper uh, delete kit and then the IAT relocation, IAT. So we're gonna, this is a T30 and you just take these two bolts out. Right there, there's tabs on each side. So once you have these bolts out, you push in each tab. So push that in, PJ. And then you just kind of wipe lightly slash roughly pull, pull in each tab. And then this comes right out. And there is a connector on the bottom here. 
and we are gonna be taking that off too. So right here, since you have your ECU like this, we are gonna be doing the IAT relocation kit and they provide you, BT Moto provides you with like an extension. So right here, it's a little bit hard to find. You plug in one side of the extension, wrong way. And then you are going to be wiring it, zip tying it slash all the way around, all the way against this big black wire into here. So you're gonna run that wire all the way across here. I lifted up this tab here, the good part, you just put a flathead screwdriver in right here and right here and you lift this up. It's the same thing as this one right over here. Uh, you're gonna be routing it right on this side of it. And that's all you're gonna have to do right now until the front of the bike. So with this piece that we took out, BT Moto sends the flapper delete kit and these are the flappers in here. So anything below 6,000 RPMs, these say close like that. So it's not getting adequate airflow into the engine. So it goes into the air box. It's not getting adequate airflow. So we are gonna be deleting that. In order to do that, we're gonna take this apart. This is all a T25. And then you just take these gears out and now it is fully open. And then BT Moto provides you with the closing hole for this and for the bottom half. So we are gonna be putting those in. Piece goes on the top here. It's a little bit of a tight fit, so you're gonna to have to like put some force into it. Then you take one of the bolts and you just put it right back where it's supposed to be. So now since you have that in, the top part, there's these two holes on the bottom here that you're gonna be filling up with the things that are provided. A little black offs. They provide, uh, you have to give a good amount of force to it to get them in because it's going through gaskets part it's pretty easy to do we're going to be removing these four bolts here which are all t25s be taking the windshield off this is pretty pretty easy you just pull right here get those gaskets out and then you take it off just like that now you're going to be taking this part off you just kind of push pull towards you this way there is these two tabs and it comes right off just like that back side of here there's going to be two bolts even if you have mirror deletes or the actual mirrors that come stock with the bike, any kind of bike, any kind of mirrors, sorry. You're gonna have to take these off. There's gonna be two bolts on each side. So take them take them apart and then pull them off like so. Of this bike down here, down below, there's gonna be two bolts. One right here and then one on the other side. I don't know if you can see it, but there's one right here and the one on the other side. So you're gonna have to take those apart and then this middle piece will come off and that will give us access to these two bolts. Once you have those two bolts out here, you kind of just move it out of the way and it should unclip somewhere just like that. So the middle, pot, the middle part comes out and then you have access to these two bolts right here. And those two bolts are, believe it or not, the only thing that is holding these two parts together. So then we're gonna be taking these off. It looks like those two bolts are gonna be the same thing, a T20. Pieces, if you have those two bottom bolts out like was just shown, you're gonna be able to take this apart. It's all held on by clips. So just kind of feel around. And boom, you have it off. Obviously your sticker won't be there. But thank you Brentum for sponsoring this video. So now since you have both sides off, there's two bolts right here, one and two, and these are T25s. So right here, make sure you have kind of a tool like this. It's a little players, kind of an angle. Do not drop these. You're gonna have to kind of take a hold of them, hold them really nice and pull them out just like that. After you pull one out, you get the rest and there's only two more, one right there and one right there. Abs out, you're gonna be pulling this out from there. It's really easy and just pinch on both sides of this connector and take it apart. And then you're gonna have the screen, make sure to be very careful, don't touch it a whole lot if you can and put it somewhere safe because this is like $1,500, so be safe about it. All apart, you're gonna be grabbing a 3 8 drill bit, and then you're gonna be working your way up to a half, but you're gonna sit right around there, try to keep it nice and flat. Doesn't have to be perfect where it's at, and just slowly start drilling until it's in there, and you're gonna be having to uh, wipe off all the debris on the inside slash blow it out and clean it up nice. Once you have that hole done, you're gonna be going up to a 1 8. So what you're gonna be grabbing is an IAT off of the air box. It sits right there. So this thing sits right in there. So grab that, kind of play around with it, play around with the drill bit 
until it fits perfectly in there until this little latch i guess this green tip especially is down in there so it's nicely seated so i'm just gonna be playing around with it until it fits good end up using the half the half drill bit because it's the smaller one wasn't i wasn't able to round it out perfectly maybe you will be able to but i ended up using the half now the hole is a lot bigger and you should be able to fit it right in there. And BT Moto said it's okay if it's a little bit loose, as long as it's in there, it's not gonna really go anywhere. Yeah, it's in there. It's not gonna go anywhere with the wiring and stuff. So once that is in there, you're gonna have to find a way to wire the provided uh, cable to that to make it kind of look clean. I'm gonna try out a few different things. And I'll get back to you on which one looks best. We ran the wires through what I showed you guys before. We ran it through and we ran it to the right hand side of this hose here. We kind of pinched it off because we had a little bit extra, which is just fine. We pinched it off right here and we ran it right there. We zip tied it together to another wire. So it should be fine just right there. It'll be perfect. And now the last step of anything that you're adding is this little piece right here. Thank you, Brent Toon, for everything. You come over here to the air box. And this is where the IAT sat before. And you're just going to plug it with that so that no extra air will get into the air box. So now we're all good. Now we have to put it all back together. And thank you guys so much for watching. The video will skip to me riding the bike and testing out the new velocity sacks and the new tune. Thank you so much BT Moto for sponsoring this video. And if I have any problems coming across the way of putting it back together, I'll make sure to, to turn back on the camera and show you guys what I'm having problems with. Oh God, guys. I just talked without my camera being on. I was talking for like five minutes. <laughs> oh my God, good thing I checked. I would have been so mad, but <laughs> whatever. So anyways, boys, the post, uh, putting on the Sage Shoe Kit Velocity Sax IAT Relocation Kit Review, it was pretty easy. If you have any mechanical knowledge at all and the right set of tools, you'll be able to get it done in around three hours, I'd say. It took me a little bit, well, Two hours I'd say it took me a little bit longer it took me three hours because I'm worried about the camera and getting all the angles for you guys and stuff like that as well as we were having fun we were listening to music and stuff like that so it took us a little bit longer but it was pretty easy so taking apart the bike I know it looks like very uh, intimidating and that's exactly what I thought when I was like watching how to do it myself on YouTube but once you like pull apart the bike, it's actually pretty easy to learn and remember where things go to. And you're gonna feel so much better about yourself that like, oh, I did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I can pull apart my bike, no problem. It was pretty easy. The Velocity Sax was really easy to install. The IAT relocation kit. If you have a smaller drill bit than a, and then a half and a bigger drill bit than a 3 8 so right in between there, uh, use that instead of the half. The half is a little bit too big, but like I said before, it's not going to really matter. It's going to sit there just fine, and if it ends up popping out, it's not the hardest thing to put back in either, because it's already all there, right? And uh, as you can see, my intake is reading 54. Right now, it would be reading around maybe 115, 120, because the IAT relocation, more IAT, the original stock spot, was right here, right on top of the air box, and it was right on top of the engine bay, right? So it wasn't the engine, I should say. So the engine wasn't really, uh, the engine was putting a lot of heat towards that when it shouldn't be reading that. The intake temperature should be the intake in front of your bike, not what the engine's reading or anywhere near to that. So on really hot days, if you drag or race this bike, you're gonna notice that, that it's running a little hot. And the reason why you want to get an IAT relocation kit is for the sense of like, it's for the sense of when the bike reads something that hot, it's going to tell your ECU to like, hey, slow down, take down the power a little bit. So you're not going to have full throttle or full power the whole time. Because it is thinking that it's reading way hotter than what it should be. But now, as you can see, it's running 54 degrees, and I'm going 25 miles an hour, and it's probably around 50 degrees outside right now, uh, around there. But now, since the IAT relocation kit is in the front of the bike where it should be, it's gonna be reading the accurate temperature, so you're actually gonna have full throttle response and everything when you should have it, because it's reading the accurate temperature. 
the velocity sacks also the mod it helps pull more air into the motorcycle as well as the deletion kit of the in the flappers and the air and the intake so that intake for anything below 6,000 rpms uh, that, that intake closes so it's not getting full adequate air as what the motorcycle should be doing it, it should get full fresh air all the time you don't want your bike running hot so taking that out it helps the motorcycle get full fresh air all the time and uh, it's all works together you're just getting more air for the bike which in return gives you more power and that's why you need a, the stage two with it too because it evens out the more air you need more fuel so the stage two gives this bike just a little bit more fuel it makes a quick shifting faster and make sure to use my code s1kdk all caps no spaces for five percent off if you want to do this to your bike I, so far I highly suggest it. I've noticed the quick shifting already just going through town. I 100% notice how fast it is, how much how much faster it is. And when I did a little pull back at PJ's house, I felt like it was getting more air, okay? So give it a try, see what you guys like about it. Use my code S1KDK and we're about to go fast here in a little bit. But that is my post. Uh, mechanic review I guess mechanic DK right that is my post review on it pretty easy to do yourself uh, I highly recommend trying it and you're gonna feel better about it when you do it because you actually tore it torn apart your bike and you'll feel more comfortable if you ever have any problems in the future with your motorcycle to take it apart and do it yourself <laughs> Nothing like a little adrenaline rush in the morning, you know? Woo! That wasn't even close to full throttle. I was trying to wheelie in it. I was trying to wheelie it. I got it pretty pretty far off the ground a little bit there. <laughs>
All right, guys, I forgot to record an outro, but if you made it this far in the video, make sure to drop down a fire emoji down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was kind of a different kind of video that when you guys are used to, but I really enjoyed editing this video. I really enjoyed making this video. So let me know down in the comments what other mods uh, you possibly want me to do in my S1000, and I will see if I can get that done. I love all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. One more time, make sure you use my code S1KDK, all caps, no spaces, on Brentune slash Cardo, BT Moto slash Cardo. All right, I love you guys. Have a great day. Thank you, Brentune, for sponsoring this video.